New at noon, we have the latest on what caused a gas leak downtown this morning, blocking traffic for hours. And it's an alert day for more snow in the forecast. Chris Reese will let us know how much snow we're going to end up with and whether it'll affect our commutes. From the Channel3000.com Alert Center, this is News 3 Now at Noon. Good afternoon, I'm Mark Kane. Thanks for tuning in. We'll get to CBS News' coverage of the impeachment trial coming up in just a few minutes. But first, we wanted to get you up to date on the latest news and weather locally. It's been a slippery start to the day with an inch or two of snow falling overnight across the area. Slick road conditions led to a crash on the interstate near High Crossing Boulevard. Northbound traffic was backed up for several miles for much of the morning commute. Dane County Dispatch says two cars were involved in a crash with a semi. The scene was cleared around 9 o'clock. And nobody's immune to slippery roads. Even our own producers here at News 3 Now, one of our morning show producers, slid off the driveway here at the station and had to wait several hours for a tow truck because crews were so busy this morning. Let's head over to the Weather Center. Meteorologist Chris Reese has a look at your first alert forecast. A little slippery out there. Yeah, we're still seeing some of those bands of snow come through, Mark, and I think we're going to continue to see that as we move through the rest of the afternoon and evening. Here's that system overall. Two little areas of low pressure. A lot of those are going to be tracking towards Lake Michigan as we go through today and into tomorrow. The heaviest snow is over towards eastern Wisconsin right now. Here's how things begin to play out though as we go through the rest of the afternoon and evening. We'll continue to see flurries by the time we get you towards dinner time per se. I think another heavier band begins to develop towards the south that really begins to move in during the overnight hours and this one will likely bring one to three inches within itself. So tomorrow morning's commute could be one that's a little bit messy and then tomorrow evening into Saturday, we start to see another band develop. That one will likely be the heaviest that could drop another two to four inches on top of everything. So that snow continues, that fog sticks around, that's keeping the low visibilities around, and that heaviest snow will be Friday night. So I'll be adjusting the snowfall totals and giving a full update on impacts in a few minutes. All right, we'll see you then. Thank you, Chris. And as Chris mentioned, the snow expected to stick around into the weekend, so you'll want to keep an eye on everything over at our Channel 3000 weather app. It has the most up-to-date and accurate weather conditions. It'll also give you a look at current road conditions and whether your commute's clear for the coming days. You can get it for free in your app store. The Madison Fire Department is investigating a gas leak at a construction site downtown. Christina Laurie has more from the scene. We're on scene of a gas line strike on East Johnson and Wisconsin Avenue. That's the street that dead ends right at the Capitol building. The leak has been contained. That is the good news. The gas line was initially hit around 850 this morning during ongoing construction work. That's happening at the old MATC building, which is about a block and a half away from the Capitol building. This building has been vacant during ongoing construction work. So luckily here we are told that no one was injured. Be sure to stick with News 3 now all day long for the latest updates on traffic and weather, both on air and on channel3000.com. All right, Christina, thank you. The impeachment trial of President Trump resumes today in the Senate as House Democrats continue to lay out their opening arguments. Skylar Henry has more details from Capitol Hill. Would you please be seated? Day two of opening arguments gets underway this afternoon. House Democrats spent roughly nine hours Wednesday laying out their case against President Trump, arguing he withheld money from Ukraine in an attempt to hurt Joe Biden and help his 2020 re-election efforts. The president went to extraordinary lengths to cheat in the next election. They're trying to convince senators have no choice but to convict President Trump and remove him from office. We have a constitutional responsibility to serve as a check and balance on an out of control executive branch. The president's lawyers say they are eagerly awaiting their chance to rebut much of what they've heard. We'll challenge uh, ag aggressively the case that they're putting forward based on what we're hearing. And we also have an affirmative case that we're going to make as well. So we're going to do both. For senators who are acting as jurors in this trial, the persuasiveness the arguments appears to depend on their political party. Mr. Schiff and the other managers did an exceptional job laying out the facts of the president's alleged abuse of power and obstruction. The House Democrats hate Trump. They want to change the election in 2016, kick a guy out of office that was duly elected, and they want to kick him off the ballot in 2020. President Trump says the Democrats' presentation was loaded with lies and misrepresentations. And what they have now is so flimsy, it absolutely should be dismissed. President Trump set a personal record Wednesday, sending out 142 tweets including dozens on impeachment. 
Skyler Henry, CBS News, Capitol Hill. It takes a two-thirds vote, 67 senators to convict, meaning 20 Republicans would need to join Democrats in order to remove President Trump from office. We will join CBS's live coverage in just a few minutes. Madison Mayor Satri Rhodes Conway is in D.C. this week, along with other mayors from across the country. She's there as part of the U.S. Conference of Mayors annual winter meeting. The three-day conference lets mayors share the issues facing their communities with government and business leaders to come up with new ways to tackle those problems. The conference runs through tomorrow, and we'll hear from the mayor later today on Live at 4. Three suspects are in custody after an armed robbery downtown near the corner of East Johnson and North Hancock Streets. Police say the three forced their way into a home around 9.30 last night. All three were arrested shortly after the incident. No one was hurt. In another robbery overnight, police say a suspect held a machete to a person's neck and demanded money. It happened around 10.30 downtown on Bedford Street at Wilson. Officers do have that suspect in custody this morning. They say the two knew each other. This was not a random act. Breaking in the Channel 3000 Alert Center, the American Family Children's Hospital is restricting visitors after seeing an uptick in flu and respiratory virus cases. Starting tomorrow, all kids under the age of 12 will not be allowed as visitors in inpatient units. This is the first time the Children's Hospital has put visitors restrictions in place since 2009, and that was due to the H1N1 outbreak. We saw an inch or two of snow overnight and more snow is on the way. Chris is next with a closer look at your alert day forecast. Stay with us.
We've been in this season of unsettled weather for quite some time. We've had snow system after snow system, and here's the next one that's been impacting us. And these two areas of low pressure are essentially going to sit and spin over the upper Midwest until we get you into some time on Saturday. Now I want to focus on the one towards the south. That's over parts of Missouri and Kansas right now. This gradually meanders its way towards parts of northern Indiana and southern Michigan as we go through the weekend. And so because of that, we're going to keep those snow chances around as we go through the weekend. Here's a live look outside right now. A little bit of snow coming down here in Madison. Our temperature at 31 winds out of the south and southeast at seven miles per hour. Jane's Zilla above freezing right now at 34, 32 in Monroe. These temperatures are very helpful in allowing the salt that's on the roads to truly be effective and work. So for the most part, a lot of the roadways out there are just wet, but still I'd encourage you to be on the lookout for some slick spots. There'll be a snow right now coming down around Milwaukee and especially towards the east of Madison. Places like Watertown as you work your way over into Jefferson County. That's where we are seeing some of that snow right now and then as you continue to push towards Waukesha but still more bands are going to be developing towards the south and then working their way northward as we go through time and again this is a very slow moving system so it's going to be with us uh, for a couple of days and one of the other things to point out is that a lot of these bands or snow are likely going to be working their way in from the south and east as opposed to the south and west, which is where our snow oftentimes tends to come from. This is five o'clock this afternoon, that evening rush hour getting started. I think we'll see a little band of snow come through. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. Overnight, I do want to pay attention though, because that's when that next heaviest band begins to move in. 4.30 in the morning, temperatures right around the 30 degree mark. We will see a consistent band come through. That'll likely drop perhaps one to three inches within itself. That'll move through and then start to move out by the time we get towards about seven o'clock. So I do believe that morning rush hour is certainly going to see some impact. We get you towards eight o'clock, things begin to taper down towards flurries. We keep the flurries around pretty much all day tomorrow. Then tomorrow's evening commute, we start to see that next heavy band develop again towards the south and east, and that's gonna work its way towards the west. So now we see another band of heavy snow coming in. This one will likely take us into Saturday. This one could drop two to four inches within its own right. So we still have more accumulating snow coming our direction. In fact, it adds up over time. So this is one model as we head towards tomorrow morning. It's on the lower end. It gives us about an inch, maybe two inches. Then we get towards tomorrow afternoon, right before that evening commute. Watch how we jump from an inch and a half and then quickly towards four inches by the time we get you into the morning time on your Saturday. So it's not a ton of snow but it begins to add up over time. It doesn't come at us all at once, but I still think we could see perhaps another four to six inches in some spots on top of the inch or two that we got last night. Three to five inches as you work your way down south just because that's where there's a better chance for some snow to mix in, or I'm sorry, some rain to mix in with what is going on out there. We've been watching the belt line for you folks. For the most part, things are still wet out there. Things are moving along. That's good news. I'd encourage you to take caution as we go through the rest of this afternoon's commute. It shouldn't be a big deal. Tomorrow, however, after that next round of snow moves in, I think from about 5 a.m., through about eight o'clock, you're definitely want to go. You're definitely going to want to take it slow as we continue to see the impacts from any snowfall that is out there. The alert days do continue, and we are keeping clouds around, folks. Those clouds will be with us pretty much for the rest of this forecast, with more chances for snow. But on the bright side, those temperatures are well above average into the mid and upper 30s. All right, keep the shovel handy. That's for sure. Thank you, Chris. Well, the Senate is now in session for day two of the impeachment trial. Democrat House Manager Representative Jerry Nadler is speaking. We now join CBS News Special Report. Judiciary Committee.